be jumped this time. Captain Dawn jumps off with Desert Orchid towards the left. Charco Wally towards the right. Very promising right up with them as they jump the first. Desert Orchid lands in the lead. They're all safely over it. It's Desert Orchid from Captain Dawn. Then comes Very Promising and Charco Wally, and behind them, Tarnley Stone and Milesian Dancer and Pearly Man and Little Bay, the back marker of the eight runners and Captain Dawn. Almost up there now with uh, Desert Orchid. Very Promising and Charco Wally next, ahead of Tarnley Stone and Pearly Man, Milesian Dancer and Little Bay. As they run to the third fence, the winners of 82 races coming to the third fence with Captain Dawn on the far side nearest to us. The Grey lands in the lead. Desert Orchid, very promising next, then Charco, Wally, then Pearly Man, and then Tarnley Stone, Milesian Dancer, and Little Bay all together. Desert Orchid from Captain Dawn, very promising, and Charco, Wally. Then Tarnley Stone and Pearly Man and Milesian Dancer and Little Bay. That's the order in which they jump that one with Desert Orchid taking him along, swinging left-handed. Captain Dawn on his inside. Very promising third. Four is Charco Wally. Five, six, seven, and eight are Pearly Man, Tarnley Stone, Milesian Dancer and Little Bay as they jump the fifth safely and coming to the water now. The ditches here are number seven and nine. This is number six. Desert Orchid lands in the lead from Captain Dawn and Very Promising. Charco Wally on the inside, Pearly Man. Milesian Dancer, Townley Stone, Little Bay just the back marker, the first of the ditches. And Little Bay faller there. Little Bay is gone at the first ditch. He's up all right. The winning most horse in the race he was when he set out. He's up all right. And over the eighth, it was Desert Orchid from Captain Dawn. Very promising and Charco Wally. Then Pearly Man and Tarnley Stone. Coming to the final ditch now. Milesian Dance as the back marker. This is four from home. The two greys now disputing it. And it's Desert Orchid and Charco Wally from Very Promising and Pearly Man. A beautiful jump in fourth place goes up into third now. Townley Stone comes next and behind him is Captain Dawn who's lost a lot of ground. And now it's Desert Orchid with three to jump. Charco Wally on his inside, then Very Promising, then Pearly Man going strongly in fourth. Townley Stone in five. And the rest are virtually out of it now as they come down towards the next with Desert Orchid. Charco Wally, very promising between horses. On the far side, Townley Stone and Pearly Man still going strongly in behind them as they come down to the next. Desert Orchid lands three out in the lead from Very Promising. Pearly Man's improving between horses. Under pressure, Townley Stone over on the far side, coming down towards the second last now. And it's Desert Orchid in the lead from Very Promising. Pearly Man, Townley Stone, Desert Orchid from Very Promising. Pearly Man in third. Four is Tarnley Stone and Fibers Charco Wally. They're rounding the home turn now with just one fence to jump in the Queen Mother Champion chase. And it's very promising who's taking it up from the white base, Pearly Man. Pearly Man coming to take the lead at the final fence now. It's Pearly Man with the advantage of very promising on the far side. Pearly Man lands in the lead from very promising Desert Orchid fighting back towards the near side. It's Pearly Man in the center, very promising on the far side. Pearly Man and very promising. There's nothing between the two as they race up towards the line. Very promising is fighting back. Pearly Man on the near side as they come to the line. It's going to be a photo. Pearly Man has just won it from Very Promising. Pearly Man, the winner, Very Promising second. Third was Desert Orchid. Fourth was Townley Stone. And then came Charco Wally behind. Charco Wally was Milesian Dancer, who just beat, in fact, Captain Dawn for last place. And so the result of the Queen Mother Champion Chase, the letter P in the frame. A, fo a photo finish, a photo between number nine, Pearly Man, owned by Mrs. P. Shaw and Mr. W. Jenks, trained by John Edwards and written by Peter Scudamore, and number 11, very promising, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Paul Green, trained by David Nicholson and written by Richard Dunwoody. Officially a photo between these two. This is Pearly Man we're looking at now with Desert Orchid, third. 
it had the ingredients and it turned out right but not for little bay who's just coming into the picture on the right hand side in the dark colors just behind the yellow there of pearly man watch him at this first ditch he goes for a long one he lands halfway and that is a fall and a half luckily phil tuck gets thrown well clear of uh, little bay but the race really came into its own coming down the hill from right to left charcoal wally very promising pearly man desert orchid on the outside townley stone a bit of a hiccup there from pearly man the big white face and um, skew just gets him on an, an even keel he doesn't want to get shut off here on the bend very promising and richard dunwoody going for home desert orchid just starting to come under pressure and here pearly man ranges upside skew would have ridden very promising the horse on his inside in the last two years here when he was placed in this race and also the article but going to the last it looks if he got it in safe keeping he got close and very promising got back into the race and now it's desperation stakes in fact the gray desert orchid looks as if he still might come back in but here face with the hill skew with his head down opposite richard dunwoody riding in the same style two very good jockeys going for the line very little between them here but i think just as they go to the line the white head gets in front and i don't know what the distance will be although it was a photograph you can see from this angle that pearly man has got there for john edwards and peter scudamore and valerie Schultz.